Good morning, Blair Phillips here again. It's again early morning, baby's asleep, mommy's asleep, daddy's awake, and we're gonna do our devotional video on Jesus, the worthy lamb. And so we are looking at the first references of Jesus as the lamb in the book of Revelation. We're gonna be in chapter five, primarily. So just to catch us up to speed, chapter one through three, John has had this revelation of Jesus, a vision where Jesus has met him in the Isle of Patmos in persecution and dictated to him these letters for the churches. Revelation chapter 4, then John enters this heavenly vision of the throne room of God and just spends the whole chapter talking about the beauty of God. There's actually no reference to Jesus in chapter 4. It's all about the worship of God from the four living creatures and the 24 elders and the thousands of angels. And then we go into chapter 5 and he sees this scroll in the Father's hand on the throne. And the scroll represents the, re the final redemption of the earth, the final chapter of restoring the earth and heaven together and God dwelling on the earth in the city of Jerusalem. And no one is able to open the scroll. There's this cosmic search throughout all of the heaven, all the earth, all the Hades, all the oceans, everything, for searching for someone worthy to open that scroll. And John begins weeping in intercession, just weeping over it. And I'm going to read to you uh, Revelation chapter 5, 5, when one of the elders turns to John and he says, uh, Do not weep. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has prevailed to open the scroll and to loose its seven seals. And I looked, and behold, in the midst of the throne, in the midst of the four, of the four living creatures, in the midst of the elders, stood a lamb as though it had been slain. And then he came, verse 7, and took the scroll out of the right hand of him who sat on the throne. Oh, what a beautiful statement. I mean, let's just look into this. The context of this that's so interesting is John hears, hey, look at, the, look at the lion of the tribe of Judah. He's prevailed. It's all this messianic, biblical, Old Testament uh, language of the messianic promises, the one who's going to prevail. And he's, he's prevailed. But when John looks and beholds Jesus, he sees a slain lamb. And it's interesting that not too many times in the rest of the book of Revelation do we hear about those same messianic phrases. Uh, we hear Jesus called the Lamb 27 more times throughout the rest of the book. It's, so though John hears the lion, he sees the Lamb. And that's the prevailing narrative of the revelation of Jesus throughout the book. And so as that passage continues, all the 24 elders and the four living creatures and all the angels and all creation begins to worship the Lamb and the Father together. And uh, it's this beautiful moment where the redemption narrative of God has been handed to a man who is found worthy. And so I want to talk about what qualities of Jesus as the Lamb are worthy. And I'm going to share a few that come to my mind. I'd love for you to, again, email back or comment post below, have discussions with others about Jesus as the Lamb and why he is worthy to take the scroll. And I primarily what has come to my mind is a passage in Isaiah 53, which is called the Suffering Servant Passage, which is about Jesus on his way to the cross. And, and then Psalms 22, where David gets this amazing revelation hundreds of years before Jesus is going to come about the emotions of Jesus, inner thoughts of Jesus on the cross. And it's, it's amazing. I encourage you to read both of those passages this week. But I, I think about the humility of Jesus, the meekness. You know, he went as a lamb to the slaughter without saying anything. He could, he, he's the Genesis 1 God. He could change everything, but he knew that this is what had to be done for the righteousness sake and for the redemption of man. He gave everything for you and me, his meekness, his humility, his passion and zeal to redeem others. And so I'm, I'm challenged even to myself. Am I living like the lamb? Am I living for the purpose of redeeming those around me even though I'm living in the midst of their sin, I'm wrestling with my sin, but I see their sin, I see their weakness. But am I living like a lamb to redeem them? How am I partnering with Jesus and strengthening my brothers and sisters and encouraging them as they go on their journey of sanctification? That's been a real uh, thing that the Lord has challenged me in this season as I've looked at Jesus as the revelation of the lamb. But so as we go into this week, I just encourage you to read these passages, read that psalm uh, or that song that they, the elders sing in Revelation chapter 5, I think it's verse 12-ish, where they sing about Jesus, worthy is the lamb who was slain to redeem us to God uh, from every nation, tongue, and tribe. And so focus on Jesus and his worthiness. He, the, he as the lamb, 
is worthy to redeem the nations and to complete the redemptive narrative for all of eternity. He is worthy to lead that. And his worthiness is really key as we look into some of the things he's going to do that, again, could be offensive, that could trouble our hearts and cause us to grow cold, as he warned in, in Matthew chapter 24. And so bless you with that. I look forward to you coming to you with another video on Friday of this week as we continue to look at Jesus as the Lamb in the book of Revelation.